So give me a range of what your renovation costs were on this property. What was the lowest? I mean, you guys can just shout it out. You know, we're all in the same place here. Just com combine. 42? At 20. 20? 15. 15? What'd you got? What'd you got? 60. 60? Yeah, he did too? I was about 30, but I, I can do some stuff. I assumed I would be doing something myself. All right. That's what I, that's what I 35. 35,000? Yeah, 55, because I don't know the plumbing, so. I got you. 55? What about y'all? Roundabout? I was a quick assessment about 40. 40,000? Okay. 50? Yeah. All right. So if I was going to buy and flip this property, my renovation costs would probably be closer to about forty-five to 50,000. Because I, I have to do renovations that make the person who want to come in and purchase the property. For this area. Correct. So my renovation, if I were to buy and flip it, I could probably get 285 for it, okay? If you look at the numbers, and I'm giving you everything here, right? So don't ask me to borrow a dollar or nothing like that. Um, I purchased it for 165, okay? My holding costs, my holding costs are something that most investors do not calculate. Holding costs means any interest that I take that I have to pay on my money, because although I can use my own cash, I'd rather not use all my own cash. So I have banking relationships with bankers who, number one, give me a lot of money to be able to go out and buy a flip. I've showed them past performance on all my buys and flips, so they give me that type of money. Those are relationships that were built years before I needed the money. So if you go to a bank and you say, I want you to, to give me an equity line for a million dollars, which is what I have, um, they ask me, how many, how many properties had you, have you bought and flipped on your own? Show me the portfolio. If you haven't done any, they're not going to give it to you but I was able to show them 20. So I'm a very attractive candidate for them. That relationship starts early. The banks that are gonna give you that type of money are not the Bank of Americas, are not the Wells Fargo's, are not the SunTrust, are not the big box banks. Who do you think, what banks around here do you think will work with an investor like me? Burke and Herbert. Burke and Herbert, John Marshall Bank, Eagle Bank, those are the types of banks that you want to start establishing relationships with. Now, you don't want to go in there starting with your handout, right? You want to go out there, get some information. You want to go in there and start an account, right? Have a reason to go in there and talk to them. That's what I did. I went and took, parked $1,000 there before I even introduced myself to the person who gave me the loan. Those relationships are the art that we don't understand very well. I didn't understand it. No one taught me. I actually taught my dad. Those are relationships that we got to start building right now. You think you want to be in a commercial investor, you want to do this at a high level, you need to start having, making friends with banks. And you need to do it with multiple banks, smaller regional banks. If you're going home to do stuff, you need to find a, a smaller regional bank back home, park $1,000, establish a relationship with them now.